Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I would like to remind you that along your journey, you may have perceived obstacles, whether it be situations or people. And the only way to make it pass through or remove those obstacles is to be radical in your expression. Now, there are different versions of being radical. It could be unfiltered communication. It can be, well, harsh actions. And I'm not saying this to say that we must be chaotic. I'm simply saying that sometimes we must express ourselves in ways they leave no room for error in the interpretation of what you're expressing. Leave no room for error in how you say or do things. Essentially, leave no room for deniability. Be who you are. Say who you are do the most extreme. And by doing this, it's not to destroy something in the outside world as your end goal. No. It's about creating something within you that you can no longer run from, that you must take ownership of. Now, when that is your end goal, there will be things outside of you that change seemingly for the good, seemingly for the bad. But those are simply consequences for the end goal that you desire, which was standing firm in what you believe and expressing from that place. I share this because along my journey, it wasn't until I took radical action that I saw change. Although there were falling outs in relationships, uh, workplaces, the culture that uh, I had attached my identity to. For the first time in my life, I found peace with myself. For the first time in my life, I gave myself permission to remove myself from the situations that felt as if they were plaguing me. Was I scared? Yeah. But it still had to be done. And on the other side of that perceived obstacle, I realized that that's what I always wanted. Always wanted to be able to speak my mind unapologetically. Always wanted to do what I wanted to do unapologetically but I've allowed the outside world to have so much authority so much say so in what I did whether they agree with it or not that I stifled myself amazingly by taking on the radical attitude the radical mode of expression I finally found peace and that peace was found on separating myself from the things that did not serve me. Now, it's not to say that I'm still not, you know, a work in progress. No, we'll always be that, and that's fine. But this is a reminder that we can be, we can bind ourselves, should I say to so many beliefs that do not serve us. And it can be difficult for us to see ourselves in any other light because of those ties that bind me. But I would remind you to give yourself permission to be radical, not with the intent of destroying something, 
but with the intent of building yourself up and allowing what results is that what results as a byproduct of your choice allow that to take place it's okay sometimes most of the time your life's going to change <laughs> point blank period but that's all right because whether you do or you don't life is going to change that's what the journey's about it's constant change what goes up must go down. What goes down must come up. Happens. What's done in the dark comes to the light. What's done through the light is covered in darkness. There's no way around it. Embrace it. Understand it. But allow yourself to be that radical soul. The brilliance that is that light within you can shine. We're all born into some kind of darkness. The darkness of our beliefs, the shadow world, as some may say, the culture that we identify ourselves with. None of these things are perfect. That's absolutely fine. There is no perfection in this world except the understanding of imperfection. It's fine. However, if you're searching for peace within yourself, for the ability to forgive yourself, or give yourself grace, or Operate in a loving manner more than you have in the past. You must do something that you haven't done in the past. And forgive yourself ahead of time. Because it will change life as you know it. Sometimes it's going to instantly get better. Other times it's going to get a little bit darker. That's okay. Trap in and enjoy the ride. But don't be too hard on yourself. It's all right. And understand that even as you connect more with your light, it doesn't mean that others are going to see the same value that you see in your choices. It doesn't mean that just because you're being radical, someone else will appreciate that version of you. No, most of the time others won't like it. Whether you know them or not. Most of the time, the job, career, or uh, whatever you do in the working world, they won't appreciate it. That's all right. Strangers going to judge you regardless. <laughs> so that's all right. But find your peace with being radical and express it. And once again, it's about the outcome that you want for yourself and allow everything else to play its part. But it's your journey. It's your reality. Embrace that. Be accountable for that. And know that if you want something to change, then something within you must change. And then you will see your world unfold in different avenues. If you're scared, embrace it. Move forward. Step by step, that fear will fade away. It's simple. Not always easy. But anybody who tells you that it is easy, be mindful. With that said, be blessed. Please, don't forget to smile. And that's